This is Brian McLaughlin, Precision Boxing Mixed Martial Arts. And today we are going to troubleshoot a common situation with the armbar from the guard. So traditionally, I have my opponent in a guard situation like this. I secure a grip on the arm. And now, as I go to fire my legs up and over, he senses that the arm bar is coming and he does a combination of pulling the arm out and posturing up and it looks something like this. Less common with the kimono because of the grip, more common in no gi because of the sweat and the lack of fabric. So there's two things at play and we're gonna see how we can combat both of them. So first, when I'm here, part of the problem is that he can very easily pull his arm back. He's not impeded by anything other than just the strength of my arm. Assuming that he has stronger arms, I'm in trouble. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna change. Instead of going with a cross grip here, I'm gonna get the same side grip here. I'm gonna bump my hip and I'm gonna pull his head down. Simply this, when Oliver goes to pull his arm out, my head, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, he'll eventually get it. But it's gonna take him a second. The reason is that the arm crosses the center line. Once the arm crosses the center line, it no longer can effectively brace his weight. His weight now falls on top of the arm. So simply by pulling this down and crunching my hips up a little, makes it very difficult for him to pull his arm out. Go ahead. Not impossible, he'll recover, but it gives me a delay. In that delay, I'm gonna go into what we call a shoulder jump, or all the kids these days are calling it a top lock situation. I bump and I lock. Now, once I'm here, my knees create a vice and my heels create a downward pressure. Now when Oliver goes to pull his arm out, he runs into my hip. It's very unlikely that he's going to be able to pull out. Now, the problem becomes how do I finish? There actually is a finish here if I squeeze my knees and arch my hips, but it's very hard to do. All right, I can pass over the head. Yeah. However, the problem is I run into a similar situation as last time. If as I pass over, he still has the ability to posture his head up. So what I wanna do is I wanna defeat his posture preemptively. The way I do that, I glue the arm to my chest at the end of the lever. I pull him forward with my knees and I hook his leg. And now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull his head past my shoulder and extend him out. Then I have two choices. Pull his head past my shoulder right now. Posture up, Oliver. He has no ability to posture. Even pulling his arm out, pull your arm out, Oliver, becomes very difficult. So what I can do is, in the transition of the sweep, I can pass over and finish the arm lock. However, sometimes the person's falling motion makes that difficult, all right? So if I'm in a situation where I feel them falling, I don't feel like I can necessarily time the arm bar, what I could do is this. I could tilt them all the way to their bottom. Once they're in this situation, I'm gonna switch legs. I'm gonna go from the far leg to the close leg. Curl up and pass over. And once again, as I'm passing over, now he has to go against my hip and against gravity. Pull your arm out, pull your arm out. Very difficult. Now I'm here, I can finish the arm bar. However, Experienced jiu-jitsu players may have been thinking that ahead. A new problem arises when I use this method of finishing. The problem that arises here is once he senses that I'm going to sweep, he's oftentimes going to lock his hands as I'm here. So although I can effectively cross over, his hands are now locked. It's unlikely he's going to uh, get what we would call the the rear naked choke grip, because I have a good button on his head, it's gonna get it, fight, fight hard to get it, fight hard. It's gonna be, I, I should be able to fight this enough that I can get, I won't break the grip necessarily, Oliver's being a little cooperative, but I should be able to stop him from getting the bicep. Once we're here, now I'm going to start manipulating this grip. Hold your hands tight, okay? I'm going to use my legs. My bottom leg weaves through. To create space for this, I simply shift my weight to the side. Now, once this is over, I switch my feet, and I shift back through. Now, hold tight, I have the power of both of my arms, both of my legs, I'm gonna bring my knees together, kick outward, and pull. However, as you saw, that can be difficult. And if you're with someone way stronger than you, you might not be able to break this. So, with every problem, there is a new solution. Once again, I'm gonna be trying to pull this apart. I weave this leg through. Now, instead of using my top leg, I'm gonna fall to the side. I'm gonna take my top leg out. And now 
uh, my falling should lift his head slightly. Keep your head to the mat. Slightly, enough to come under. Once it comes under, I'm going to feed my knee behind his head. And now I use my heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, to make him stand up. Once he stands up, I bite down on his neck and here's my triangle choke. Generally, the person's gonna try to come up on top to prevent the escape, I hook the leg. And now I'm gonna take my knees, I'm gonna make them face the same direction. Right now they face opposing directions, I'm gonna move them in line with each other. So I take this knee, I bring it inward. And I force the submission. So let's look at all that again. I'm Oliver in my guard. I'm going to push the tricep up as I pull the head down, get to a top lock shoulder jump position. I'm going to take my arm, I'm gonna control the end of the lever here as I hook inside the knee. I'm going to rock him towards his head and I'm gonna pass my left leg over once I feel he has no base to get the submission. In the event that I wasn't able to get the submission, I'm going to switch legs so that Oliver cannot roll up into me. I'm gonna to shift to the side, put my bottom leg through, put my top leg through, kick out the pull, breaking the grip. In the event that his grip is too strong, I'm gonna weave my bottom leg through, fall to the side, take my top leg, come underneath his head, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Bite my knee into his neck. Figure four, he rolls up on top, hook the leg, make sure my knees face the same direction and squeeze for the submission. And those are options off of our arm bar from the guard position.